uh, let us compare the Intel's newer i7 6700 HQ with the older i7 4720 HQ the Haswell processor not, not so um, not so early it is in the first quarter 2015. We will go by their specification before we will take a look at their benchmark score whatever is available today. So, both of them are have 6 MB of cache memory and we know that they are quad core processors the support for hyper threads and all these things this make them the best and the top of the line in their series in Haswell and the Skylab. Now, looking at the clock frequency we have the same base clock frequency 2.6 gigahertz. The Haswell is slightly faster in the turbo clock at 3.6 gigahertz 3 point, uh, versus 3.5 gigahertz for a Skylac. Now, a Skylac is slightly faster like 1 to 1.5 percent in terms of the CPU architecture improvement. So, the turbo clock is higher, but the architecture improves a little bit and that makes them about the same in terms of uh, performance hopefully. We have the steam TDP rating about the same TDP rating 47 watt though we expect the, the Skylac has a configure configurable TBT TDP down in 35 volt, watt mode and that is made possible by the newer lithography at 14 nanometer. Intel has kept the same price 378 dollars. There are other differences and the most important is the DDR4. We now have a DDR4 that works at lower 1.2 volt uh, supply voltage compared to DDR3L which will works at like 1.35 volt. So, th that gives a little bit of saving um, in, in the platform and that uh, that's important for the, the for the laptops and not so important for the desktops the integrated graphics improves uh, performance slightly from hd graphics <laughs> hd graphics 530 with all these differences we expect that the two processors they should be still the same about the same we do have slight gain in in architecture, but the turbo frequency is slightly higher but again that is also is not something significant. We do get slightly faster system bus which connects the processor with the chipsets and make the transfer from processor to the PCI express slots and all this slightly faster from 5 giga transfer per second to 6 8 giga transfer per second. Looking at the pass mark scores, we have something conflicting. We have a score of 8159 for i7 4720 HQ, we have 994 samples uploaded by other persons, but in case of i7 6700 HQ, we see it reduced that is not something we are able to explain and then you could you could explain a drop of like a hundred points or so but that is substantial around 400 points drop we can conclude that these processors are about the same uh, about the same performance we don't get much improvement with i7 as 6700 hu that's what we can say at this point of time so thanks for taking for taking a look at me.